Hello, how's everybody doing out there? I'm good, thank you. I'm Jamee, just getting on here to pick an oracle card. Gonna tap into our collective consciousness, ask our higher self, what kind of message do we need to hear? Where are we at? Uh, what do we need for guidance? Um, after this whew, crazy last couple of weeks, it was really intense um, for myself. I was really tired, um, gr a lot of grieving came up, and and I know it did for a lot of you out there as well that are in tune with your feelings and doing your inner work and trying to figure out your journey here. So good for you, you made it through, you were not alone in this grieving process. So if you felt sad and you didn't know where it was coming from, um, that is the collective. Um, so we all went through that. So we were all feeling each other's uh, grief that came up. So, and that's okay. So, so we go through that. Um, we can go through happy weeks. Um, and that's what the collective consciousness is. It's, you can kind of see like when, you, when you're out and about, um, even with people you don't know, you're like, oh, they feel like happy. Um, or another week, um, everybody's just kind of like, oh, leave me alone. Um, so that's because we're all, you know, working in that collective, but we also need to work on our inner self as well. So when we are feeling that grief, it's really important to go inward and figure out where it's coming from and clear it. Is it coming from old wounds from childhood? I mean, that's my thing. I'm always, you know, saying, got to clear your traumas uh, from childhood, teenage years, because that's where dysfunctional patterns uh, came up. Um, and that's what I could do um, with my intuitive work, tap into the Akashic Records or the all, you know, all that is space and read your, your blueprint and see, uh, you know, where those traumas are and how to cut the cords and clear that. So that's, it's, that's why it's so important to do that inner work because then ultimately in this time and space that we're in right now, we're, we're on a new timeline. So uh, it's just an amazing, exciting time to be here. There is so many energy shifts, conscious shifts that we chose to go through coming back here uh, into um, this kind of... Uh, Let's see, it's been called the false matrix, the, uh, some people think it's a video game, uh, or, you know, it's, uh, uh, there's NPCs walking around, it's just been, you know, there's, it's all a, an illusion. Um, but what I feel is that we have to really just keep feeling in our heart space. I think that's the, why we're here is to raise our, consciousness and frequency through our heart and in love um, and that is real to me so um, so just remember that and I do and I feel like nature has that frequency as well the love frequency our animals uh, so there is a lot of realness too um, but we are experiencing some intense times so um, I was going to remind you guys because there was a new moon on the 12th and the new moon in Sagittarius, which is fiery, uh, like fiery energy. Sag Sagittarius is our confident. Um, they are, um, gosh, I wrote something <laughs> compassionate. <laughs> My memory is not so great. So I actually have to write stuff down and I should know Sagittarius really well because I'm dating a Sagittarius, so, and he is all these. He's a an independent, emotional intelligence, um, super honest, so that's a great trait of Sagittarians. Um, and so this new moon in Sagittarius, it felt really potent and amazing. So uh, it, it's definitely, um, it feels like that magical energy is still there. So make, your intentions um, and dream big. What do you want for yourself? Like really put it out there and and feel it to be true. So that's what this new moon is. And 
leave the past behind and really move forward. And that's part of that healing process as well, right? So, all right, so I'm gonna be picking through the, our, picking a car, Oracle card from my uh, Starseed Oracle deck. I had it, I had this deck a long time ago and I, I, I always give decks away to friends. So if they come over and they like the deck, I'm like, it's yours. So I finally got another deck and I just like Rebecca Campbell, just beautiful artwork and star seed. Okay, I'm a star seed. How many of you out there know that you're a star seed too? And maybe you don't know and then now you just found out because you just felt like, wait a minute, I feel like a star seed, like something felt right in there. That's like, that's called DNA activation. <laughs> that's called cellular memory waking up. So, yay. Okay, let's see what our higher self has for us in the collective conscious. Well, there's that, there's that. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so that one was like, yeah, this is the one we have to, oh, amazing. So just the, just this, lifting the veil. Look how beautiful that is. Love that. Questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. So I was just like kind of saying like traumas, anything in your past that's like keeps pulling you back there that's like doesn't feel good. Like it has to, you just, it has to go. You have to let it go um, and move forward. So lifting the veil. This is, let's see what she has to say. Okay, things aren't always as they seem. This era is one of uncovering mistruths so we can remember ancient truths. This is actually what we're doing on the new timeline. We are freeing ourselves from being in a false place. So it's really it's quite exciting. Everything is in a state of recall and realignment. Anything that isn't in harmony with the planet will not survive. That's very true. And the planet is Mother Earth. She's amazing. She's a being. Um, and she's very high vibrational. This goes for society and the world at large as well as in our own lives. If you pull this card, you're being called to energetically scan your life for things that may no longer be a vibrational match for who you are and how you've grown. So that's really important. That is like, if something doesn't feel good, it is not a vibrational match. And it is really important to let it go. That includes people, um, even family, friends. So your well-being and your happiness is the most important in these times. Let's see, to dismantle the systems and ways of being that once served you and others, but no longer do. Some star seeds are here to lift the veil between the seen and unseen worlds. That is very true. To shine a light on things that are inauthentic or unaligned with the survival and well-being of Earth. Is that you? I bet it is. To stand for and protect those who don't have a voice. To look deeper and question everything that previous generations did not. That's what we're all doing now. So if you know what I mean, uh, so much is being exposed that just wasn't right here. So, um, and that's because of all the star seed consciousness that came into this time and space or this that that false timeline um, came in to shift that to dissolve that false timeline that we were getting looped in so a lot of our friends and family have been looping in this false uh, reality and so we've come in to collapse that, dissolve it, and we're holding that vibrational space, uh, that frequency 
um, of the original timeline. So it's really exciting. So <laughs> I get I get so excited talking about it. Uh, you're being called to trust yourself, notice what's out of alignment, and then take the baby steps required to bring it back into harmony. This is not an easy feat, but it is so worthwhile, both individually and for the planet and for the collective consciousness as well. So uh, this is, it is very important, your job here. So just know that you are meant to be here, Starseed. You are lifting the veil. You are, by being true to yourself, by recognizing frequencies that don't resonate with you, you are helping others be there in that place that you are as well. So just know you're supported in doing that. And uh, yeah, just know that, that your uh, presence here, your vibrational, you, you were born into this place already at a frequency and it is to help in bringing in the new earth, the new frequency, the new timeline. So good job. Let me show this card one more time. Isn't that beautiful? All right. I'm glad you joined with me today. I love tapping in with our collective. So keep up the great work and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.